<laughs> yeah, you guys, unfortunately, I don't got a white GPU. I got the Asus Tough Gaming RTX 3090. Uh, I love the card. Performer's amazing. I got lucky if I get it 3090, but it only comes in black. I kind of want a white GPU because I got a white PC. So today, we're going to disassemble this at my own risk and paint it white. All right, you guys. Uh, PC has been fully disassembled. Got the GPU here. You can see some of the thermal pads have been torn off, so but don't worry. We're going to fully replace this and we're going to clean out this heat sink right here. Uh, super excited. It was a scary process for sure. All right, here I have the top and bottom brackets of the GPU. These are the ones I want to paint white. I also came up with the idea of painting some of the motherboard components white. Fortunately, they didn't have a white motherboard when the i9-1200K came out. They do now, but it's a little bit too late. We are outside. Now outside, I know it's not the ideal settings you want to have when painting, but I have no other choice since I live in an apartment, but we are about to start painting. We got the Rust-Oleum High Heat, which is very good for PC components because it gets very hot. This covers up to 1200 degrees, so it should be good. We're going to do some very light strokes, okay? Take this nice and steady, get some good quality. I don't want no drips or cracking in the paint job. Uh, so it's going to be a long process. Right here, we are finally in the final coat. Looks good. We're about 10 coats in. I have no dripping, no cracking, so I did the quality work. is definitely there. Super proud of the outcome. Okay, it's been about 24 hours. The paint has really cured. We're about to assemble everything back together. We got some thermal paste, and we also have some thermal pads to replace the pre-existing ones. Uh, let's get everything back together, and fingers crossed that everything works. Yo, you guys, this looks amazing. I always wanted a white GPU and it came out perfect. Tested it out, everything still works. I'm loving the all white exposure of the GPU. But I do have an idea of adding my V1 Tech GPU bracket at the top. Um, see how that looks. We're going to show you guys a quick example. Give me some feedback. Yo, I'm sorry you guys, but this looks amazing. Especially when I turned on the white RGB. It really exposes that white inside the components on the motherboard. I think I might actually leave it on. Super cool. I'm loving the results. What's next for my PC? I'm very really thinking into water cooling my CPU. But I'm still doing research, but we'll see what the future holds. Stay tuned. Thank you guys for dropping by. Appreciate y'all.